All right, so on this week's episode of Emotional Trainwreck starring yours truly, I wanna talk about stagnation. And when I say stagnation, I'm not talking about a country entirely populated by this guy and his offspring. Dude, did you get that? Did, did you get it? Because he's a Baratheon and the Baratheon family crest is a stag and... No, you know what? No. I am not explaining this to the uninitiated. If you don't know what I'm talking about, first of all, grow up, all right? And then go watch a Game of Thrones like the rest of the world. What, you think you're better than everyone because you don't need to escape to a fantasy world just to make sense of your own reality? <laughs> Loser. Okay, so the definition of stagnation is the lack of activity, growth, or development, and I honestly can't think of a better word to describe me. Like, if it was the first day of school and the teacher did that thing that every student totally loves, by the way, and made me get up in front of the whole class, give my name and a word that describes me, I would totally be like, what up, my name's Fief, and the word that describes me, stagnation. And everybody would be like, what? And I'd be like, oh, you know, the complete lack of growth and development. Yeah, that's me. And then I'd laugh myself to tears while everybody added me to their do not talk to list. But the thing is that in the past, that lack of growth came because I wasn't putting in any effort. I was just chilling, thinking everything was sweet and expecting to get better at things by merely existing. So now looking back, that lack of growth and development feels warranted. But these days, I've been trying to change all that and put in some effort, at least to the best of my ability. So for example, I've been trying to teach myself how to play basketball. And for that first month, it definitely felt like I was improving a lot. But in the last three months, I feel like I've plateaued. And I play at least three times a week. Some weeks I play literally every day and I'm still just stuck on that plateau. And so that begs the question, how do I deal with this stagnation? And what I've been doing to cope is really straightforward. I've just been making little adjustments. So quick analogy, let's say you're walking down a path and then you suddenly hit a roadblock. Now, in order to get around this roadblock so that you can keep moving on that path, you're gonna need to change direction. And basically that's the equivalent of making an adjustment, just changing directions. And so that's what I've been doing. I've been throwing up straight bricks, so I changed my shot form. I was dribbling the ball off my foot, so I tried different dribbling techniques. I changed up the drills I was running. I watched different YouTube tutorials, etc. And yet all these little adjustments that I was making just kept leading me to other roadblocks. And I still haven't been able to move forward on that path despite my attempting to change directions over and over again. I've been stagnated. And so in the past, this is where five-year-old temper tantrum thief would make an appearance, cry himself into an early nap, and then just quit on everything because what's the point? And don't get me wrong, I've been throwing tantrums. I've pretty much been in a constant state of anger for the past three months. That's my secret, cat. I'm always angry. The only difference this time is that I didn't quit on everything like I usually do. And that's not to say that I didn't take extended breaks at times with the intent to quit on everything, because I definitely did. But one of the thoughts that made me get back on the grind was remembering just how long it took me to get to where I am now and how much that process sucked. Dude, that first workout after six months of eating nothing but fast food and playing way too much Super Smash Bros is probably one of life's worst experiences. Careful, Thief, your privilege is showing. Shut up, dude. I wouldn't wish that on my worst enemy, okay? Oh, it's awful. I mean, those first two minutes of unbounded ignorance when you think to yourself, oh, you know what? This isn't so bad. Why don't I do this more often? Followed by 10 minutes of trying to convince yourself that you're running, when in reality you're much closer to speed walking, yet somehow looking more ridiculous than a speed walker, only for this process to end with you doubled over behind the park dumpster, trying not to simultaneously throw up and pass out at the same time while the group of moms who are playing with their children on the playground look down on you and ask if you're okay. You know, that experience? Or was that just me? Anyway, the point is that I don't wanna have to go through that again. And even though in the past I've had that exact thought of, I don't wanna have to go through that again, and have still been like, 
yeah, whatever, and quit on everything knowing that I'd have to restart this process all over again at some point. For some reason, this time, it got me back up on the horse. Who knows, maybe it was because I've restarted this process so many times and I don't wanna have to do it again. Also, we're talking about basketball slash exercise here. I told you, I love sports. Soccer will always be my first love, but basketball is quickly becoming a very close second. But if this was trigonometry, I would have already told my teacher like Arya told the god of death in Game of Thrones. What do we say to trigonometry? Not today. Seriously go watch Game of Thrones, but stop after season five. All that awaits you beyond that point is despair. But anyway, all I'm saying is that it's easier to not quit on the things that you love. But all of that, just to say that in my stagnation, I have thrown temper tantrums, wanted to quit, tried to quit, and for various reasons that I wasn't always entirely in control of and probably can't even entirely explain, I just kept making little adjustments or just kept changing directions. And eventually I found my way back to that path that I was walking on and lo and behold, I was beyond that roadblock. And I think that ultimately that's the lesson. Keep moving. It won't always be forward and it may even be backward, but the possibilities are endless as long as you keep moving. Whereas if you do what I've been doing my whole life and you just quit once you hit that roadblock, there's really only one possibility after that. And that's with you not achieving what you set out to achieve in the first place. But don't get it twisted. Even though that's the lesson that I'm taking from all this, I don't necessarily like it. And here's why. If someone else was experiencing this stagnation at a much higher intensity than I am, which I feel safe in assuming that most people are, like if they were hitting roadblocks in their relationship, in their careers, in their hobbies, etc., the absolute last thing I'm gonna say to that person is, hey man, you just gotta keep moving, even if that's exactly what they need to do. And the reason for that is because if you told me someone who was experiencing that stagnation at a much lower intensity than the average human being, if you told me to just keep moving, I'd probably never come to you with any of my personal problems ever again. Because your advice, while being true, completely disregards the frustration of beating your head against the wall for long periods of time trying to achieve something and getting absolutely nowhere. At that point, I believe it makes sense to want to quit. I empathize deeply with people who want to quit because I have been quitting my entire life and it is truly the option that makes the most emotional sense in those situations. In my last video, I talked about social interaction and how I've spent the better part of a decade trying to get comfortable with interacting with people again and how I've just continuously failed at that and then how that has made me want to quit interacting with people altogether. And I believe that the feeling of wanting to quit is completely valid and it shouldn't be overlooked or disparaged. Popular media perpetuates the message that quitting is easy and I couldn't disagree with that notion more. Between the two options of keep moving and give up, Quitting may be the easier of those options, but that does not make it easy. In many cases, the person that is quitting is giving up on something that they are passionate about or desperately desire. And it's something that they've put significant amounts of time into achieving and yet have found no reward, no light at the end of that tunnel. It is a painful process with a painful ending. That is in no way, shape or form easy to go through. It's just that the unfortunate reality is that if you quit, you end up like me, stuck in a situation that is exactly where you don't want to be. Which for me is the fact that I am a 29 year old broke college dropout with a busted car living at home, unable to sustain myself. So keep moving. As frustrating as it is, keep moving. Whatever direction, however minuscule the step, just keep moving. And I make this video now with empathy for my future self because I know that next week something is gonna happen that is again gonna make me wanna quit on everything. It's been that way for 10 years and it would be naive to think that that's gonna stop just because I made this video now. So I'm talking to you right now, future thief. If you're watching this video, 
my current answer to stagnation, just keep moving. Rage if you need to, but keep it pushing. See, like I said at the beginning, pretty straightforward. Complex problem, simple solution. But also way, 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 way easier said than done. So yeah, I think that's gonna be it for this one. Dude, this script took me a week and a half just to write. I wrote three different scripts about stagnation before I finished this one. So basically with that in mind, I'm gonna stop promising a new video every Sunday. I'll do my best to get them out by then. But yeah, instead of apologizing every single week for not making that deadline, I'm just gonna do away with that expectation. See, these are the things you pick up as an underachiever. You set a low bar so that every little thing that you do exceeds expectations. Just ask my sister. She's been getting 4.0s on her report card since she was in primary school. So now that she's doing her PhD, which is a massive deal, everybody's all like, good for you. Oh, well done. But when I manage to make it out of my room and interact with people for a whole 30 minutes, everybody's like, <laughs> So yeah, new videos when I can, but I'm still gonna try and post them on Sundays. And unless I'm on an extended vacation or something, I'm gonna try not to go two weeks without posting. So I'll at least try to set that expectation for myself. Basically, at least two videos a month, but hopefully more. Also on that note, I know I've been saying that I wanna get to bigger, more important topics outside of my deteriorating mental state, but I'm also gonna stop saying that as well. This has basically become a video diary and it's probably gonna stay that way for the foreseeable future. Like I said, every week brings new situations that make me want to revert to all of my bad habits and making these videos about those situations helps me to not do that. It's basically therapy for me. So with that in mind, I will finally just admit to myself and to you that addressing my weak mental state is basically what these videos are going to be about. And so I invite you to watch as a dysfunctional person attempts to overcome his much deserved shame and transform himself into a functional member of society like the rest of you. If that sounds interesting to you, then stick around. And if not, I totally get that. There are way, way, way cooler things that you can be doing with your time. But anyway, that's enough of that. Like I always say, thank you so, so much for hearing me out. I truly, truly appreciate it. I hope there was something in here that you can take away with you, even if what you take away is how wrong you think I am and how an idiot like me should stop making videos because identifying what you believe to be wrong will eventually lead you to what you believe to be right. But all right, that's it for this one, for real this time. So I wish you all the very best going forward. I hope you absolutely bulldoze any and all roadblocks in your path. Take care of yourself and I will see you in the next one. Peace and be easy.